delicious. Is that good? Oh, is that good? Up here, folks. How are we going? Playing with the puppies now. Look, they've turned up. The camera's rolling and everybody wants to play. This is their cue to actually make a mess. Look how big Vader's gone. He is huge. Hey, settle down. He's almost as big as Jack. He's only four months. Fun. Hey, settle down. Oh, you're a troublemaker. He's going to be a handful, this one. And there's nothing that he doesn't eat. But anyway, settle down. Settle down. Come on. No. <laughs> settle down. All right. Hey, folks. <laughs> Stop! 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 <laughs> Alright, you want to fight? <laughs> Alright, they're off. Okay. How are we going, everyone? <laughs> That's, that happens every couple of hours here on the property, so don't freak out. Here she comes! <laughs> <laughs> you're right <laughs> all right so today i've been gardening i've been in the, in the veggie garden so what i've done here now we haven't filmed it i turned the soil over a little bit because i actually went to water the garden earlier on and this is an area here where we've got some some uh, old tomatoes that haven't really done well i have a mulch this area i composted black grid and a little bit of blood and bone that's all i've done um, and i've planted my lettuce in here now i've had some lettuce growing already transplanted them they're in the ground see the irrigation i got there that's okay but even that's not enough to actually hydrate this whole area so if you're going to do an irrigation in the system you've got to space it about 40 centimeters apart consistently not just free flow like that that i did because i was just a little bit lazy where i installed it so irrigate your garden and when you hydrate and we'll do this segment another time I'm going to demonstrate, and this is what I was thinking about when I was actually watering the garden, because I was holding my watering wand, the hose, spraying over the top. It looked like it was hydrating, it was puddling up beautifully, dissipating into the soil. But then when I dug it over afterwards to go and plant, it was dry, bone dry underneath. So we're going to do a test run on how to water your garden using different methods and to see what sort of results you get. And it's not the perfect science because every soil is different, every environment, backyard, front yard is different. So you really need to understand that and apply some of these techniques into your garden depending on what type of garden and soil you have. Always do the research. Come for a quick walk before we go and meet our new guests on today's episode. So we've got our lettuce in here. I've cut the chicory back in this section here. These are a little bit small. The beans failed this year, miserably failed. Although we did harvest, so we didn't get a big plantation or anything like that, like a wall of green that I was hoping because of the soil. We've done, we've spoken about that, but we did get probably, you know, two bowls, three bowls worth of uh, beans like that, which was good for us. We enjoyed that. The capsicums are starting to come on now beautifully. Later, better late than never. Our tomatoes giving another run, you know, the final go, a few more big malakas and Italian malakas going in there. Here, quickly, and don't mind me because I'm running around barefoot here, this is our kale that's actually self-germinated on the ground. I let my plants go to seed, they drop their seed, I collect as much as I can, but I do leave a little bit to fall because I've said it before, if the plant self-germinates, it's always going to outperform anything you plant that's been grown elsewhere, even in your own little mini hothouse and so on. You can collect your seed, they'll be very good, but believe me, the ones that self-germinate, and a lot of you know about this, will always outperform everything else. So I've been taking this little plantation, this self-germinated plantation, stuck it in here, and all all that is my garlic. That now that's also self-germinated. I've gone to the, taken the liberty here. Come, 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 quick. This is a clump I left for you guys, growing on its own. So I'm going to separate that as well. And that's what was happening throughout this area here. So garlic is almost in season now to be planting out folks so get ready get your cloves separated stick them in the fridge in the crisper there so they can cool down and then when it's time in the next couple of weeks we're going to start planting garlic because these already germinated on their own i've already separated and a little tip cut them down and they'll actually push some energy back into the bowl before they grow again so you can get bigger bulbs nice and big and juicy like that now don't forget your ek butch and liquid gold it's on special on vasiliesgarden.com but in the meantime sit back relax and enjoy john and pat from park orchards that's vasiliesgarden.com from Vasili maresi yeah so folks just give me a couple of seconds here how are we going hey <laughs> we're out here in park orchards we've got a beautiful family here we've got john and pat well done. Thank you. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> she knows I've got a bit of bad memory here. Thanks for having me. And your Greg. son, Greg. Greg. Yeah, and the lovely Loretta. ladies. Loretta. Loretta. Jill. And Jill. And Jill. Thank you. Well, thanks for having us. Now, we've come to have a look at your garden. Now, both of you live here. The kids do. don't live. These are yeah. the kids, obviously. Uh, uh, how long have you been here? We've been here. 
30 years. Yes, yes. Think, yes. Uh, retired? Yes, retired yep. 10 years. Uh, from work, but from you're work. doing all the work here doing now. all the work here, yeah, yeah, which, yeah. which is my pastime. <laughs> That's your pastime. Yeah, yeah. How many acres? Uh, one acre. One acre. Yeah. Yeah. And did you find the gardens like this when you came here? Uh, not quite. No? No, no they weren't bad. but yeah. uh, They we, weren't good. But the, uh, it was set out. It was set out. And the trees, of course, were only this big when we came. So it was basically the infrastructure was in yeah, place, but yeah. everything just needed Absolutely. to grow. Yeah, yeah. We, had, yeah. we put in the driveway yeah. and the drive and... Yeah, and, and other trees. things too. And fruit trees, fruit yeah. trees. Yeah, yeah. veggie garden, veggie garden. Yeah. Veggie garden. I'm not real successful at that. So. Okay. <laughs> no, the, the gentleman here is very humble at the moment, but he's got a piece of paper in his hand, and I'm going to share this with everyone. It's going to turn up anyway. Can you show me the piece of paper oh, you're holding? It's, it's, All right. What is it's, this? It's ten questions that I've got. For me. <laughs> <laughs> not about my personal life. Is no, it? no, no, nothing about that at it's all. It's about your garden. It's about the garden. Oh, okay, so we can go for a tour around the garden and check it all out. Yeah. All right. But uh, before we go into those, I know you're real keen to go there. Tell us about yourself, your background. My background is um, I was in banking and met John and we've been married 58 years and we have three children and four grandchildren. Oh congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Lovely, yeah. thank you. The kids are nearby, do they all live nearby? Yes, yep. yeah not far away. Uh, the furthest is Doretta and Greg and they live in uh, Mont Albert. Which is how far? Oh, uh, about, what, about 20, 20 minutes. minutes? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So you've got an edible garden as well? Edible like vegetables? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, we certainly got uh, quite a bit of fruit and lemons and, and what have you. Fruit trees and Enough to like sort of keep us going. Keep it going, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I like to make it better. Um, yeah. So uh, your background, what's your profession? Uh, well, I met Pat in banking. Uh, oh, so you're both in banking? We were mm. both in bank for a while and then we had a lifetime life, uh, time change. Yeah. And uh, we uh, operated a group of nursing homes for 28 years. Oh, really? Yes. Um, yeah. In Camberwell and Preston. Okay. Uh, had a lot of fun with that. Uh, in a great community service yeah. it is. Um, and just can't speak highly enough of, of for the our team. staff yep. and the residents we had yep. there. And uh, congrats lovely. on that. And they're yeah. still active. Those. Uh, oh, the, uh, the homes. We, yeah, we yeah. sold it off as a group, but yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I don't have any more involvement with that. Well, that's anymore. fair enough. And but you're just looking after your own home at yeah. the moment here. Yeah, exactly. And, and me. And you. <laughs> well, isn't it the other way around? You're looking after him. No, he looked after oh, me. Oh, no, like you, you. Does he use the same fertilisers? Does he? Because <laughs> everything's everything's thriving, and you're just glowing today. <laughs> All right. Well, we won't waste any more time. Let's go for a tour. Do you want yeah. to take us for a round? Yeah, hey. please do. We're going to go down the front here. Let's go. The crop off this this year was excellent. Yeah. But this one here, we transplanted uh, from this spot, spot here. here to here. How long ago? Uh, six or seven months ago. Um, it's dead. It, yeah. It, 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 it had a black thrift on it. That wouldn't have killed it. It's a transplant. You didn't cut it back when you transplanted, or did you? Uh, Doesn't well, look like you did. By comparison, they're the same size still. I had a gentleman help me do it. His name's James. Uh, Not from... Do I know him? J James Wall. Wall. Not James Wall. No, oh. no, no. He, he used to work for the Queen, actually. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> I know where. No, he's he, very good. He's, he's very good? Very good, yeah. He, um, he okay. transplanted. He put that one in it. That tree's dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that that's not but his fault. We didn't say what he's very good at. <laughs> Uh, I won't blame him for that, but no. uh, I, think, got, I think it's something else. I think it's had some fungus in it. Oh, look, that don't take too well. When was when was it transplanted? Uh, oh, sorry that six, I just broke six, that. Yeah, no, just, that's fine. Six nine months ago, uh, just before summer. Yeah, just or in spring or um, what, was it in leaf when it happened? Or? Yeah, he came to prune the. Uh, now would have been would have been just before spring. Yeah, it should have been done a lot early. There, look, at this size here, it's really difficult. I know you probably try to get a, as big a rip ball as possible. Yeah. But you did sever off a lot of the roots, yeah. no yeah. doubt. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, now, if it, when you transplant any tree when it comes out of the ground, you'll literally have to take off twice as much off the top as you have from the bottom. Oh, okay. So if you've taken off half the roots, you're going to take off at least half the half, tree. Half the tree. Down to here. In which case, it would have survived. It, it, well, the better chance of survival. Um, it's alive. It's alive, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just work this out. That's gone. Can you see what I'm doing? I mean, you would have known this how to do this too. It's moist there. See that? It's dry there. Yeah. And see that branch down there? It's alive. Oh, yeah. It's alive. I have Look. seen Dad when it's been lightning and thunder, yeah. Yeah. saying, it's alive! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that might have helped. <laughs> 
Can we watch it? You just remind me of uh, what's his name, the, the professor, the mad professor from Back to the Future. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Just throw me there for a second. <laughs> All right. So cut that off. Cut this. You can see it's dead there. There's no green here. It, or is there? Oh, there is a little bit. All right. So we leave the middle trunk here. We just work our way back down to the, the dead wood. That's gone. That's really brittle. You can see that's going. Can get some yeah. secateurs that's, or something. Yeah, loppers. If you want me to get into it now, may as well. Do you know what they are? Yeah. Does he know what loppers look like? <laughs> I am worried. The truth is starting to show. Here. You guys are really presenting yourselves really polite and humble when I first came here. It's just sort of. It's got the wood. Yeah. <laughs> the barricade. You know, the, 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 the front is really just diminishing real quick. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. I soon would be honest. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. So if you're happy with me, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, actually please. try and cut it back and see yeah. what. It's going to be a guessing game, and we'll work it out so we can cut it back enough that it's still, you know. <laughs> you're going to swing what have you got? Oh, under yeah. the bench, Greg. Under the bench. I'm not hedging oh, it. Oh, let me get it. <laughs> oh, no. This is not how you look after your garden shears. Mate, I'd be better off cutting it with this little thing. Isn't it? <laughs> I'll, I'll get it. What's going on here? Where, where am I? Who are you two people? <laughs> Giggling like that. Okay, thank you, sir. Jaws of life, these ones here, aren't they? <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, look, this. Uh, see this shrinking? Yeah. Come over here, see this wrinkling? Sort of like a bit of me, you and me, what's happening with old age. Oh, okay. Yeah, see the wrinkles? Oh, yeah. It's developing. The, the wrinkling that you see occurring here is shrinkage because of the lack of moisture getting in, which means oh, it's okay. dying back. So you can't hydrate that. You can't tell the tree to suck water back up into this because the root system to this part here has been taken off, so there's no moisture to go to it. So we need to cut this back. And you can see it's still viable here. We've got a pair. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, the very best. <laughs> These are the, the beauties. And I'm not looking in the middle or part of it. I'm looking at the edge. And I haven't got my glasses on. Can yep. you? With some glasses. Yeah. Yeah, we've all got the same problems. <laughs> eye problems, haven't we? Oh, the $10 pair. They work fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the same pair. <laughs> see the cambium layer here? This is yeah. what we're looking at here yeah. um, to see if there's any, any life in it. It's a, a sign is a little bit of lime green colour. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't have to be that pedantic. You can just simply go around and just, just cut it back to a point where you feel comfortable and you think it's, there's enough moisture there or it's viable. Yeah. Right? Even by seeing that there, see the green part? Yep, yep. So we can cut back to there. We'll just get rid of that, actually, because I scratched it off. And we'll do the same here. And we'll basically do the same. That's dead. See the That's middle dead, part? Yep, yep. You can see that's completely gone. Cut that there. So there's a bit more life in there, even though that bud's gone. We're just going to have to cut it back. And you might have to come back. That's completely gone. You can see the shrinking there yeah. as well. So this branch might have to come out with the bigger loppers. We work back to this here, get rid of that. The thing about the cherry trees, you can cut it back to the trunk and you'll get it suckering up everywhere. It'll sprout up from all these buds. All these little buds can become active oh, if okay. there's nowhere else for it to shoot off. So it's a case of how far back we need to cut it by analysing the dead wood. We'll cut to this bud here for now. I can't see. That's a bit... Oh, it's sort of half better than half, that. Yeah. yeah. Sort of get the idea? Yep. That's feeling dead because you can see it's browned off inside. So we might have to cut it back or... Oh, look. To here, yep. comfortably. Yep. I'm going to do it. It's either that or we just use just it as a feature. Yep. Oh, look out. <laughs> Come on, stand back. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, bugger. Okay. Hang on, I'll go around this side. Oh, this is what we do, folks. We come to your house and cut your trees down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, these are not very sharp. Are you right there? <laughs> oh, it's pretty dry. Yeah. We'll just keep cutting the rest of it back. If it sprouts anywhere, it won't be from up here, it'll be from down here. This is grafted, and I dare say the graft's here somewhere? Yeah. Or, no, it's hard to tell now with the age on this. Yeah, it's been there about five years. That looks like the graft there, like it's been grafted there. So you don't want anything suckering up from the base there. You want it to come out of this point here, yeah. by which then you will take the rest of the tree down completely. Oh, OK. Once you see the new growth coming through, take it down. That's gone. I love these second so What do you mean by that bit, take it down? Take, cut, cut it all the way back down to the green growth. So oh, if okay. you get any new growth at any particular point, 
If it's up here, cut the rest of that down. Yeah, okay. So allow that to come on and remove yeah. all the other branches. If it's down lower, cut it even down lower. Yeah, okay. It's right. a, it's, you know, it's a 50-50 chance at the moment. Yeah. Just yeah. play no, it by okay. But yeah. the problem is you're at the end of summer, the trees are going dormant. So technically this should have been done much earlier before the end of summer, so there was more growing season. Yeah, okay. So you may be lucky, you may not be. Just persist with it till next springtime, and if it doesn't come up by spring, well, take it out. Take it out, yep, yep, no, fine, thank you. All right, we can go home now. <laughs> <laughs>